Hello, thank you for joining me today. I had made this using the uh, Peony Garden Designer Series paper, and I thought this particular design would show off a lot of the papers in the paper pack all on one card. I basically used every single design that was in the pack. And today we're gonna make this card together. And this one uses the Gilded Autumn uh, specialty designer series paper. So it's a lot of fun to make and you can use any of the designer series papers that you have. Uh, pick your favorite and um, get a good punch and follow along with me. I think we'll have some fun. Hello and welcome. This is Susie from Susie Sensations and I'm really happy that you could join me today. Recently I had made this card which I thought was a great way to feature our designer series papers. On this particular one, I used the Peony Garden Papers, which are just beautiful, and they're all kind of soft tones that go really well together. Uh, it's a beautiful pack of paper. You can see some of them here, soft colors, and they go well together with grays and pinks. Uh, so anyway, I thought it was a good way to show off the paper. And I'm gonna do it again today, but with more fall. Um, theme and I'm going to use the um, the Gilded Autumn specialty designer paper papers and these are specialty because they have foiled elements to them to some of them you can see that one's really shiny so the first thing that I want to point out is the tailored tag punch this is kind of the star of the show um, that allows us to fit a lot of papers on one card. So I'm gonna start with a piece of very vanilla and I went ahead and cut some, had cut several strips of two and a half inches from my designer paper and then just punched several of the tags out from the different designs. We have this design here. Let's see how reflective that is. So I have a big variety and a lot of tags. Okay, so I prefer to use the Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue when creating this type of a card. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start, I know that I want this one in this particular area because that's where my sentiment will go eventually. So I'm gonna start there and go to the edge. And then I'm just gonna pick different patterns and apply them one at a time. I'm gonna leave just a small gap, maybe a sixteenth of an inch between the two tags. So it'll have a very vanilla border around all of them. Hardest part is deciding which ones you want where. So I kind of laid them out ahead of time so I have a general idea of how I want them. So I'll go ahead and speed through this and then I'll come back. And you can go ahead and let them hang over the edge. We'll trim them off at the end. So when it's fairly filled in and you have just small pieces left, I actually will cut these where I can use them in more than one spot. Um, so I'm gonna just snip that off. I wanna fill in as much as possible. Whoops. See how I can move them around a little bit because of the liquid glue. Let's see, uh oh, should have done this on my silicone mat. That would have been smart.
looks kind of crazy, but there you go. We'll end up trimming all these off, which you could do in the paper trimmer or just with a pair of scissors. Just turn it over from the back. And there we go. That's our main piece. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Clean up a little. It's a little big, but that'll be all right. Okay, and I know right here is where I'm going to want to put my sentiment. But if I put that down, we're not going to see the piece behind it. So I actually trimmed just a little off of each edge. My first card, I did this in the paper trimmer, but... I'm going to try it doing it manually here. Just make sure you get all the pieces and you can see it below just a little. It looks like I'm a little crooked here, so I'll cut that piece a little bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now for my sentiment, I am going to use the Beautiful Autumn stamp set. And I really like this one, My Heart is Grateful for You, but that won't fit there. So I'm going to try to just do Grateful for You by, so let me get that on a block. So I want grateful for you. So I'm going to grab some washi tape and I want to say grateful for you. So I'm going to get rid of the part above it that says my heart. Make sure I don't ink that. And I want to get rid of the word is. Okay, one more little bit here. There we go. So now when I ink it up, Any ink that got in the places I don't want it, I'm just going to pull the washi tape off and then stamp. I should be okay. Grateful for you. This was mint macaron if I didn't say that, my ink. Perfect. Love that idea. Okay. I simply chamois and put that back away. Okay, so there's my tag, which will be lifted up there. I'll put that up with dimensionals. Okay, to continue here, I would like to add some ribbon, and I have the combo pack that is part of the suite with the stamp set and the paper. And this is called the Basket Weave and Metallic Ribbon Combo Pack. Really beautiful metallic ribbon here. And then this basket weave is just so, so pretty. So I'm going to put this right here. I'll flip it around. Tear tape, tear and tape with ribbon. It holds things pretty securely. So put that there. Put that there. This just makes it easier to get the pieces off. Oops, take a pick. So many uses for this take your pick tool. It's a must have, I think, in every crafter's arsenal. Okay, I'm going to turn this back around and make sure I have it straight. Whoops. 
And I want to go over this piece, over this, my main square that I'm looking at. And right about there. And we'll flip it around there. Okay, I think that's about where I want it. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my card base. Go back to my liquid glue. Okay. And this is just a piece of very vanilla. And I will center that. Set that aside. Now for this, um, Cajun, Cajun Craze is the color of this piece right here. And I'm gonna take my Cajun Craze ink pad. I'm gonna just take the edges and rub them in the ink just to add a little definition to the edges here. Okay, so that added just a touch there. I'm going to put this up. And I'll center that over this piece. And then you can see how that extra border, because we trimmed it down, you can see the border behind it. Just to know that that color piece is tying in all those areas. Okay, so next I'd like to add a little pine cone. And the stamp set does have the pine cone, it's adorable. You can stamp it, two step stamping, you can color it in with these. And the punch pack does coordinate with that. There's pine cone, there's the leaf, and that's like the oak leaf. So we have that. But the beautiful thing about this paper, whoops, is this pine cone will cut out this pine cone right here. So there we go. And just because I want it to be a little sturdier, I'm going to put a piece, I'm going to punch it out also on just a piece of cardstock. just to give it a little more heft, a little more stability. So I will glue those together. Super cute. How easy was that? Pretty nice. The second design that's in the ribbon pack. I'll we'll slide that right under here. So we have these also in the same suite, these adorable little acorn trinkets. I just love them. Is that not the cutest? Look at that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and string that on here before I tie it. Pretty cute. I love that. I'm gonna put it hanging off the edge right here. So I'm gonna put just a little glue right on the side. And we'll stick it right there. Okay. And the only thing left is a few of the gold glitter enamel dots. And I will just scatter those about. If I may take your pick tool again. 
So I'll put a large one. Woo! Put a large one down here. A medium sized one. Right here. And a tiny one. I think right here. And there we go. Grateful for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I used, you can find the links below. And I want to remind you of the first card that we did. Completely different looks with the different types of paper. You can find information for both of these on my blog, which is suzycal.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.